Hi, my name is Jeffrey. I'm an amateur audio engineer who makes videos about PreSonus Studio One topics that have tripped me up so as to help others not make the same mistakes. Today I'm focusing on the Remove Unused Files feature to free up disk space, and in particular answering the question, is the Delete Files Permanently option really as scary as it sounds? Well, the answer is yes and no. So before we go any further, big warning. If you use external drives on a PC, and that includes USB sticks or thumb drives, whatever, then watch this video to the end or you could lose files. Or you can just jump to the warning chapter if you want. Just make sure you watch that chapter. Okay, what is the Remove Unused Files option? If you're like me, you record several takes, comp them down to the best clips, bounce that down to a new clip, and then remove all the layers. And if you're really like me, later on you decide you can play that part even better and go through the whole process all over again. So after a while, you have a lot of files of unused takes just cluttering up your disk. This is where the Remove Unused File feature helps. It's a great feature, but before we talk about that, I'll show you another way to remove unused files from your disk. One way to remove unused files is to simply save your song to a new song folder and then, when you're ready, delete the old song folder. Here's what that looks like. Click on File and then go down to Save New Folder. And then you want to make sure that you save your new folder in the same level as your other song folders. So we'll move this up one. And let's call it Can't Be Blue Demo 2. This will copy over all of the files currently being used and change the song name to the new name, Can't Be Blue Demo 2. And just to double check, let's take a look at Remove Unused Files. And there are none, so this was successful. Now if we look at the folders themselves, we see that the new folder is about 900 megabytes smaller than the old folder. That's 900 megabytes of free space to record new material. The big downfall for me in this approach is that I'll put other things in the folder, like I've got the lyrics here, and then I save my amplitude settings. Uh, I've also got some samples in here. Those will not show up in my new folder unless I copy them over manually. So if I use this method, I just have to remember to copy over anything that wouldn't normally be copied over by Studio One. And then again, of course, once you're done and satisfied that you have everything you want to keep, then you can delete the old folder. Now let's talk about the Remove Unused Files option, starting with, what if I don't delete files permanently? And why is that even an option? Well, if you don't choose the Delete Files Permanently option, you won't remove anything from your disk. What it does instead is remove unused files from your song pool. And I've wondered about why anyone would want to do that, and I've asked other people, never really gotten a clear answer. But I suspect it's for people who have libraries of loops or sounds that they pull into their song. So you'd use this if you didn't want to delete files from your library, but maybe they're cluttering up the pool and that's just annoying or something. Let's see an example. Here's a new song, here's my library, and we'll start dragging some clips over. And you'll see they show up in the pool on the right. Drop another one in. And we'll drop another one in. Okay, and so we have a few clips in here. And I'm going to click on Control S to save. And this is where it'll ask, do you want to copy these external files to the media folder? I recommend always answering this question, yes. Because that way, all of the files that you're using will all be within the song folder and you're less likely to accidentally delete something. But, say you work with libraries all the time, and you're used to working that way, you might say no. Now, if you take something out, and then choose the Remove Unused Files, you don't want to click the Delete Files Permanently option, because that will delete the original copy in your library. And this is a case where someone might want to just leave that unmarked, click Yes, and that cleans up their pool a little bit. And now I'll only see material in the pool that's actually being used in the song. 
That's great if you only pulled material from your libraries, but let's look at what happens if you have some library files and some recorded material. Here's our library material on the first track, and let's add some recorded material. And we'll click Save and not copy over the library material. And before we do anything else, let's take a look at our Explorer folder. Okay, we can see we've got some media in here, but none of the library material. Okay, now let's say we delete some of our library material and some of our recorded material, and now we go to Songs, Remove Unused Files, and we don't choose the Delete Files Permanently option. What we'll see is when we go back and look at the media folder, it didn't get rid of anything. So one of those should have disappeared for sure. And if we go back to Song, Remove Unused Files, well, it's not in the pool anymore, so now it says no files are unused. And that's because removing files from the pool means that Studio One is no longer tracking them, and you have no easy way to identify unused files. But don't panic. It's okay. In this situation, your best bet is just to go back and use the Save to New Folder option that we did earlier. All right, let's look at if I choose Delete Files Permanently, are they really completely gone? The answer is a definite maybe. It all depends on how your system is set up regarding the recycling bin. And I apologize to Mac users because I bet this is not an issue for you, but I'm not 100% sure, so please test it out first. In general, if you're using all internal drives, then deleting a file permanently really just means that it's being moved to the recycling bin. For example, here's a song, and let's pull in some files from the library. So you've got a mix of recorded material and library material. And now I'm going to press Control S for save. They asked me if I want to copy this stuff over the media file. I'm going to say yes. So now all my files are in the song folder. And let's go ahead and delete a few things. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. I'll hit Control S to save again. And now if I go to song, remove unused files, I'm going to say delete files permanently and say yes. Now they're gone from the pool. Are they completely gone? Well, in this case, no, they're not. If we really need them back, we can find them in the recycling bin. And of course, then you just right click and say restore and it'll send it back to where it was. Okay, the warning. External drives by default do not have a recycling bin. If you're on a PC using external drives, USB thumb drives, whatever, then those by default do not have a recycling bin, which means a deleted file is really permanently deleted. You can change that with a little regedit, and since there are already great videos on how to do that, I'll just point you to one of those. Please be sure to test it out with material you don't care about first before running it on anything else. And finally, one last thing to show you is that everything we did under the song menu can also be done in the pool window. If we open up the pool window, we can go to View, Browser Tabs, Show Pool, or just press F10. And now in the pool window itself, when we right click, it gives us some options, including removed unused files. And if we click on that, it works just like what we saw before. You can also right click on individual clips. And here you have more options, but just like before, you have the options of remove from pool. And when we click on that, in this case, it gives us a warning that that clip is still being used. And are we really sure we want to delete it from the pool? I'll go ahead and say no. Now let's see what happens if I choose the delete option. Delete file permanently. And it asks me if I'm sure if I want to permanently delete this file. So I'll say yes. And it warns me again, this clip is still used. Are you really sure you want to delete it? And now I'll say no. Okay, I hope that gives you all the information you need to clean up your song folders with confidence using the Remove Unused Files option. This is Jeffrey. Until next time, happy mixing, my friends.